Hello and welcome to Electricity Frenzy, the channel that's all about saving energy and reducing your carbon footprint. Today's topic is how to save energy with your kettle. Most of us use a kettle every day to make tea or coffee, but have you ever stopped to think about how much energy it uses? The truth is, kettles are high power consumers and can use a lot of electricity if not used correctly. In this video, we'll explore how kettles work, why they use so much power, and how you can reduce their energy consumption. Firstly, let's look at how a kettle works. A kettle consists of a heating element, a thermostat, and a switch. When you switch on the kettle, the heating element heats up the water until it reaches boiling point, at which point the thermostat switches off the heating element and the kettle switches off automatically. So, why is a kettle a high power consumer? The answer is simple, it uses a lot of energy to heat up the water. In fact, a kettle uses around 2000 to 3000 watts of power, which is equivalent to leaving a 100 watt light bulb on for 20 to 30 minutes. If you use your kettle frequently throughout the day, the energy costs can quickly add up. Let's discuss the power consumption of using a kettle for 5 minutes. If you boil a full kettle of water for 5 minutes, it will consume around 0.1 kilowatt hours, kWh, of energy. However, if you only boil the amount of water you need, the power consumption will be much lower. This is because the amount of energy required to heat a smaller volume of water is less than that required to heat a larger volume of water. So, by only boiling the water you need, you can reduce the power consumption of your kettle. So, how can you reduce your kettle's power usage? Here are some tips. 1. Boil only the water you need. When you boil a kettle, it uses a lot of energy to heat up the water. By only boiling the amount of water you need, you can significantly reduce your kettle's energy consumption. For example, if you're making a cup of tea, only boil enough water for that cup instead of filling up the entire kettle. This not only saves energy but also saves water. 2. Unplug the kettle when not in use, even when the kettle is switched off, it can still consume a small amount of energy if it's left plugged in. This is known as standby power or phantom load. By unplugging the kettle when you're not using it, you can eliminate this standby power and save energy. 3. Don't overfill the kettle. When you overfill the kettle, you not only waste water but also use more energy to heat up the water. This is because the more water there is in the kettle, the longer it takes to heat up. So, only fill the kettle with the amount of water you need to reduce both water and energy waste. 4. Ensure the kettle cover is sealed. If the kettle's cover is not sealed properly, heat will escape and it will take longer to boil the water, using more energy in the process. So, make sure to check that the kettle cover is sealed properly before turning it on. This will help to retain the heat and reduce the energy required to boil the water. 5. Make sure the voltage is not dropped. If the voltage in your home is low, it will take longer for the kettle to heat up the water, using more energy. This is because a lower voltage means that the kettle's heating element has to work harder to heat up the water. So, make sure to check your electrical outlets to ensure that the voltage is not dropped. By following these tips, you can significantly reduce your kettle's energy consumption and save money on your energy bills. Remember, small changes can make a big difference in reducing your carbon footprint and helping to protect the environment. In conclusion, a kettle is a convenient appliance that we all use, but it's also a high power consumer. By boiling only the amount of water you need, unplugging the kettle when not in use, not overfilling it, ensuring the cover is sealed, and checking the voltage, you can significantly reduce your kettle's energy usage. So, next time you're making a cup of tea, remember to save energy and reduce your carbon footprint. Thank you for watching Electricity Frenzy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more energy saving tips.